diamond in the rough shine forever Beauty so rare is clear to see So hard to find her Yeah guys, these are my quarantine braids, honey Yes, you some eco gel And I was only like putting my baby's hair down Because I wanted to look cute, but no for wig install we have to make sure that this is all back guys so i'm gonna put some of my eco gel and i'm literally gonna brush it back so if i just zoom in for you so make sure that all of our hairs no baby hairs down guys make sure it's all up before we put our wig on, yeah? I braided my hair in six, but I've just bunged it all into one braid at the end. And it's got a little curl there. So yeah, and then I'm just, when I put my wig, I'm just gonna put it underneath and in, yeah? So, stay tuned. So for this tutorial, we are going to need comb with a metal end, a brush, Ghost Bond Glue, Argan Oil, Scissors, Tweezers, and some clips, some butterfly clips. Um, we will also use um, some products along the way, so I'll show you that. Also guys, I take some cotton because we have to make sure that our hairline is nice and clean before we put our wig on. So yeah, so that's what we're going to need guys to install our wig. Okay guys, so first step, make sure that your wig is nice and clean and there's no glue on the lace because obviously we're reinstalling it. Secondly, just going to put our wig on. Now this part is quite important. It's about the placement of the wig. No, it depends on where it suits you. So once you've placed your wig on guys, make sure that it's you've placed it in the position that you want to glue it in. So I just make sure all the hairs are away. Yeah. So there's no little flyaways. Make sure that they're all away. I parting it out as well. I think that's where I'd wanna have it. I think that's good enough for me. And then guys, we just make sure that there's no hair. So just, like you see, just combing the hairs back to make sure they're out of the way for when we glue it. Combing them back. Because I'm gonna put my clips to hold the hair away, yeah? So first step, use our clips. Make sure it's in a position that you want it. So that's where I'm gonna glue that, so. I hold that back with the clips like that, yeah? Then I'm going to do the middle. And then I'm going to do this side here. So last clip. So three clips and I feel like it's in the position that I want it to be for where I'm going to glue it guys yeah next step guys is you want to make sure that your hairline is free of any kind of dirt so we're going to use some alcohol just to like a little pad some alcohol because we obviously want it to stick down so you just lift you lift it up slightly you can see I'm just gently wiping off any type of residue. Yeah, just to ensure that 
it will stick down. Yeah, guys. Cool. So once you've gone ahead and done that, make sure that it's where you want it to be again. Yeah, so the placement is where you want it to be. Next step, guys, we are going to we're going to glue it. So I use Ghost Bond glue. I don't actually use that much because I don't feel like it's that necessary. Do is I'm gonna put a little bit. Whoa, gosh, I actually wanted to put a little bit, but a little bit more has come out than I wanted to. But I just dab a little bit. Can you see, guys? Right, make sure that it's where you want it to be. And we're literally going to just put the glue on our forehead. You see that, guys? You see how it's already gone clear? So a little bit, lift it up. You see how the glue is going clear already, guys? Like it's already clear because I'm not using a lot. Now you do a couple of layers of that. Now because it's quarantine, <laughs> I'm not gonna go in, but I'm just gonna show you how I do mine. So. So guys, it's literally going clear. Can you see that? Yeah. I'll put another little bit here. Then what I do is I use my comb and I make sure that I pull it over, pull the lace over, use the back end and press it down. You see that guys, just press it down in that type of motion. Yeah. And then we go like that and use a back end, press it in, back end, press it in, back end, press it in. Yeah. So that's what I do. Make sure that there's no hairs in the way. This is all dripping. Yeah, so literally, you see how we've just pressed it down with the back end of the comb. You see that guys? So we just repeat the same process and I take it in sections. So I'm gonna do the same on this side. Again, I'm not using a lot of glue just because it's not really necessary. And I don't keep my wigs on for too long. And also I'm just trying to show you like exactly how I do it. So again, make sure that there are no, no hairs in the way. Yeah, so just remove any type of hair that's in the way. And then again, guys, we're literally gonna just pull it down use the back end and melt that in. You see that guys? And then I'm gonna reinforce it with the back of my comb. Yeah. So again, repeat the same process with a little flap here. Again, guys, normally you'd probably use about three layers if you want it to last at least a week. And you see how I'm just smoothing it out with the back of my tweezers. Yeah. 
And that's the key guys, just blending it out so that it goes clear. Then again, pull it over. And then make sure there's no hair in the way. With this bit, I just press it directly into my hair. I mean, into my forehead. Use the back end. And then the last little bit, the flap here. Make sure there's no clumps of glue. Then you can just use your finger and press that down. Then use the back end of the comb again and press it in, guys. That helps it to like melt. Yeah. Can you see that, guys? We've now melted that in. Yeah, compared to this side, which is still not glued yet. Now remember guys, even though it's um, HD lace, it's still a wig, so you're, you know, you, co you cannot like make the lace completely disappear, but you know, with technique, you can get it to look as natural as possible. So that's basically the aim. Like, you know, some people be like, oh, you can still see, but with the lace, you are gonna see some of the lace because it is lace, do you know what I mean? It's not our natural hair, but with technique, we can get it to look as natural and as melted as we can. And so that is basically the aim. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same step on the other side. I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue here. That's how I just literally apply it. So guys, once you have glued down your wig and you're happy with the placement and how it looks, then you're gonna style it, yeah? So I think I'm pretty much happy. I think I'm happy guys with um, it being glued down. Like I said, I haven't used a lot of glue. Um, but for me, it's enough. And especially during quarantine period, we don't want to go too ham. But yeah, guys, so I'm going to start styling it now. I just wanted to show you guys, this is before like I've actually like melted it down properly um, with the melting strip. What I do is I part it in two, brush it out, and now I'm going to start straightening it. And then I'm going to add curls, because you know me, guys, I love my barrel curls. So... You take a small section. If you want it to um, straighten nice and bone straight, take your straighteners. And we're just gonna glide it through the hair, guys. From beginning to end. Now, I know a lot of people tend to put their melting strip on before they style their hair. Um, I don't, only because, well, yeah, I, not on my own hair anyway, because I just want to I just want more control so I want to like make sure that it's super flat and I'm happy with how the hair looks first and then I feel like that's like the finishing touches for me 
So yes, yeah, so I go ahead and straighten my hair. So I'm going to go ahead and do this section as well. So from the back. Right guys, so now that our hair is straightened, sorry I've still got some glue on my hand, let me just wipe this glue off my hand, so we're not going to need that anymore. Put some mousse on first of all, yeah, so put some mousse on and literally we are going to melt this lace, guys. We're going to melt it, melt it, melt it. Yeah, so we want it to go nice and flat at the top and volume at the bottom. Yeah. So you can see already it's starting to shape my face just by putting some of that on. And we are also going to just brush the hair in the direction we want it to go with one of these. So that when we put when we take our black strip, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it on, let it melt the lace in and then I'm gonna do my curls. But once I take this off, because I've kind of brushed it in the direction, it should come out even more laid, yeah? So guys, I'm gonna go ahead and start curling my hair. Take a thin piece. Use our barrel curlers. And I'm just gonna wrap, wrap. All right.
Now guys, we're pretty much at the top, so I'm gonna show you how I get it to fall in my face. So with this, you do take the full amount and you make sure that it's literally at the top. Wind it round, wind it round. Hold it guys. And then let go, crunch it and let it fall. And do you see how that falls? And that's how it's gonna go into our face, yeah? So that's the styling of that. Again, you do the same. Make sure it's at the root. Not where it burns you though. Release, crunch. Yeah, so it's, it's coming out nice guys. And then the last bit, release and look at that so that nicely falls in a tighter curl you can use your straighteners to give you that effect yeah about to take off our um, our strip and see if it's melted. So let's just cut it and then let it tear. And look at that. And look at that, guys. You see how melted that is? So it's definitely melted nicely. And we've got our burn into our face. This is no baby hair. Get some spritz and literally just just put it on their hair. Oh, I love it. Um, so that pretty much is how I install and style my hair, guys. And that's the finished product. Like, look how nice that looks, guys. guys so i'm super happy with my result so this is a finished product guys of what my wig looks like after installed and styled like comment subscribe let me know what you think um but yeah guys i hope you enjoyed the tips and tricks that i guys that i've shown you stay tuned for more thanks guys thank you for watching bye